the white liar is out. Hope Hicks, who told the House Intelligence Committee that she has told white lies for the President of the United States, is leaving her job at the White House. It is not clear when her last day in the White House will be. She joined the White House staff as a press aide and has spent the last 196 days as the White House Communications Director after Sean Spicer failed spectacularly in that job as the first Communications Director. Hope Hicks has now made Sean Spicer look like a master by comparison. She takes her place in history now as both the youngest and the worst White House Communications Director in history. She's 29 years old and demonstrated the colossally bad judgment and utter lack of professionalism in becoming romantically involved with White House aide Rob Porter, who two previous wives accused of domestic violence. Hope Hicks co-authored statements for the White House, including a statement by John Kelly praising Rob Porter, her boyfriend, after those accusations of domestic violence became public. She fought to save her boyfriend's job inside the White House. And because the Trump White House is filled with bad judgment, John Kelly joined her in that fight to save Rob Porter's job. It is a fight that they lost. And Hope Hicks, whose job it is to make the White House look good, made the Trump White House look completely out of control and completely unsympathetic to the two abused ex-wives of Rob Porter. And of course, that was an accurate description of the Trump White House. They did not care about the ex-wives of Rob Porter. Hope Hicks, John Kelly, Donald Trump did not care about them. And Hope Hicks helped them to accurately communicate all of that to the country through her incompetence. No White House communications director has ever had a worse episode in the job than that. That came after Hope Hicks demonstration of colossally bad judgment and utter lack of professionalism during the Trump campaign when she got uh, caught being publicly engaged in a romantic affair with the married man who then had the title of campaign manager, manager Corey Lewandowski. She actually got caught by reporters on the streets of Manhattan having a lover's quarrel with the married man she was having an affair with. Donald Trump had the good sense to fire Corey Lewandowski during the campaign, but he never had the good sense to fire Hope Hicks. Part of why Hope Hicks survived as long as she did as the most incompetent White House communications director in history is that, to a great extent, the press corps interacting with the Trump White House fell for her and fell for her in a way that they have not fallen for members of the White House press team. Here's a moment from the first week of the Trump administration. You will not see this kind of moment with Sarah Huckabee Sanders. In my years of working in government in Washington, I never saw members of the press corps socially kissing members of the White House press team or any other press secretaries around town. Hope Hicks cast a special spell on reporters and she controlled their potential access to the president and other players in the White House, and she controlled access to herself. Just yesterday, Josh Raffel, the deputy communications director, announced that he planned to resign. In his book, Fire and Fury, Michael Wolf reports that Josh Raffel and Hope Hicks were working together on Air Force One with President Trump when they drafted Donald Trump Jr.'s response to the New York Times initial reporting that he had a meeting at Trump Tower with a group of Russians. The special prosecutor has reportedly been investigating exactly how that response to the New York Times was drafted, exactly what the president's input was, exactly what Hope Hicks' input was. The New York Times is reporting tonight her resignation came a day after she testified for eight hours before the House Intelligence Committee telling the panel that in her job she had occasionally been required to tell white lies but had never lied about anything connected to the investigation into Russia's interference in the 2016 election. NBC News' Kristen Welker confirmed in a phone interview with Republican Congressman Peter King, a member of the House Intelligence Committee, that Hope Hicks said that she told white lies during her testimony to the committee. According to Congressman King, Democratic Congressman Eric Swalwell asked Hope Hicks if President Trump had ever told her to lie. Congressman King says that Hope Hicks asked to speak with her lawyers. Hope Hicks went out to speak with her lawyers and came back in and said roughly, I have told white lies.
and gave the example of saying that the president is out of off out of the office when he's really not or that the president is delayed in traffic or that he can't make a meeting when he doesn't want to go to that meeting white house officials speaking on background offered the usual spin in situations like this saying that hope hicks decision to leave the administration had been in the works for several weeks and had absolutely nothing to do with the russia investigation or her appearance in front of the committee yesterday there is of course no way of knowing right now if that's true. One problem that Hope Hicks might have with the special prosecutor involves Mark Corallo, who resigned last year as the spokesperson for the Trump legal team. The New York Times has reported Mr. Corallo is planning to tell Mr. Mueller about a previously undisclosed conference call with Mr. Trump and Hope Hicks, the White House communications director, according to three, three people. Mr. Corallo planned to tell investigators that Ms. Hicks said during the call that emails written by Donald Trump Jr. before the Trump Tower meeting in which the younger Mr. Trump said he was eager to receive political dirt about Mrs. Clinton from the Russians will never get out. That left Mr. Corallo with concerns that Ms. Hicks could be contemplating obstructing justice, the people said. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.